Since 1884, Chesterton has been providing value-driven solutions to meet industry's needs. Chesterton solutions have been implemented around the world with documented success and recognition, increasing equipment reliability, optimizing energy consumption, and providing local technical support and service are what Chesterton offers industry worldwide. Global Solutions, Local Service. The Chesterton 442 Split Mechanical Seal is designed for the easiest and most reliable installation of any split mechanical seal. By following the simple steps covered in this video, you will be able to quickly and accurately install the 442 in your equipment. Before you remove the parts from the carton, prepare a clean work surface and make sure your hands are clean. The seal components are individually packaged to keep them free from any contaminants that could cause unreliable operation or premature failure. The necessary installation accessories such as hex keys, silicone grease and installation instructions are also included for ease of installation. Before you begin the installation, be sure to read the instructions so you can follow the simple steps as described. Rotating equipment in good operating condition is essential to mechanical seal reliability and performance. Make sure your equipment meets the equipment parameters outlined in the installation instructions. Begin by disengaging the two socket head cap screws from the gland. With the gland on the work surface and the springs facing up, separate the gland halves. Make sure you remove all packaging material in the gland halves. You now have access to the rotary holder. Disengage the two socket head cap screws from the rotary holder and place the halves on the clean work surface. Take the stationary and rotary seal faces out of their packaging and place them on the clean work surface. Open the ball and socket joints of both the stationary and rotary O-rings by carefully pulling at the O-ring seam. The rotary O-ring is slightly longer than the stationary O-ring and is marked with a purple dot for identification. Lubricate the rotary holder gaskets and O-ring with the silicone grease included. Make sure they are properly seated in their grooves. Grease the gland joint gaskets. Make sure they are also properly seated in the gland grooves. Begin the assembly by placing the rotary holder halves around the shaft. There are two methods to properly set the rotary holder to the shaft. The enhanced 442 uses installation spacers that are attached to the holder, allowing hands-free setting of the holder. The standard 442 uses a Y-shaped spacer that must be held in place. We will illustrate both methods here in case you have both versions in your facility. Setting the 442 rotary holder with a Y-shaped installation spacer. Tighten the two socket head cap screws until snug but not tight on the shaft. Insert the Y-shaped installation spacer against the step on the inboard end of the rotary holder and slide the holder against the spacer and stuffing box. Do not place the spacer against the back surface of the holder, as this will incorrectly position the holder. While pushing the holder against the spacer, alternately tighten both screws evenly. The spacing between the rotary holder halves should be equal on both sides. Remove the installation spacer once the screws are tightened. Setting the enhanced 442 rotary holder with installation spacers attached. The enhanced version has two P-shaped spacers that are affixed to the holder halves. Place the rotary holder halves around the shaft. Tighten the two socket head cap screws while firmly pressing the back of the spacers against the stuffing box until tight on the shaft. Remove the installation spacers once the screws are tightened and the spacing between the rotary holder halves are equal on both sides. The remaining installation steps for both the standard and enhanced versions are identical from this point forward. Affix the rotary O-ring around the shaft. This is the O-ring with the purple dot for identification. Then affix the stationary O-ring around the shaft, placing it on the outboard side of the rotary O-ring. Carefully nest the two stationary face halves around the shaft between the O-rings. 
Slide the stationary O-ring over the back of the stationary face. Make sure that the splits of the stationary face do not line up with the O-ring seam. Carefully nest the two rotary face halves around the shaft and slide the rotary O-ring over the back of the rotary face. Make sure that the splits of the rotary face do not line up with the O-ring seam. Using the silicone grease, coat the outside of both the rotary and stationary O-rings with a thin film of grease. Align the rotary face slot with the drive pin in the rotary holder. The slot location is indicated by a mark on the outside diameter of the rotary face. The pin location is indicated by a score mark on the outside diameter of the rotary holder. Carefully press the rotary face into the holder using the stationary face. When engaged correctly, the rotary face surface at the splits should feel smooth without any step or roughness. Align the rotary and stationary faces by pushing them together and check the location of the stationary face splits. Make sure the rotary and stationary face splits do not align on assembly. Take one gland half and place it around the external seal components. The gland split should be 90 degrees from the stationary seal face splits. Place the other gland half around the seal and bring the gland halves together. Align the gland springs with the slots in the back of the stationary. Fully tighten the gland socket head cap screws. These gland cap screws can be installed from either side. Install the adjustable gland tabs as needed for a two, three, or four bolt pattern. Evenly snug the mounting bolts to the stuffing box, keeping the seal perpendicular to the shaft. Do not over tighten the bolts. No centering of the 442 is required. The internal face centering buttons will center the seal automatically. To check the seal for correct rotary placement, insert the Y spacer or back of the P spacer against the back of the gland. The width of the spacer should be approximately flush with the back of the stationary. This comparison can also be used as a seal face wear indicator during operation of the seal. Rotate the shaft by hand to make sure that there is no metal-to-metal -metal contact within the seal. A slight drag may be found due to the seal faces, but the shaft should rotate freely. Take all necessary precautions and follow normal safety procedures before starting the equipment. Many improvements have been built into the Chesterton 442 split seal that make it the easiest seal to install and field repair today. Understanding and following the simple steps described in this video and the installation instructions are the keys to achieving a quick seal installation and reliable seal operation.